Hello everyone, and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victoria 2 as Austria. We're at war with Prussia still, on July 8th, 1863. And we're having a bit of a hard time, uh, because the Prussians are very powerful after all, but we are winning the war. We have 15% 15 war, 15 war score, we're doing pretty well. We could add a war goal. I would like to have a war goal where we could take some, some very populous state like Schlesien, but our infamy, we would go over our infamy cap, and that would be extremely bad for us. We get containment wars declared on us left and right. Like France would declare, probably declare war on us. Russia may declare war on us. The UK might declare war on us. Spain will probably will most likely break their alliance. Going over the infamy limit, it would just cascade into chaos and death, and everyone would have a really fucking bad time. It would not be good. Right, let's get back into it. Unpause. Um, here, our navy is going up here. We're going to try to do some blockading to rack up their war exhaustion. Ready, occupied Berlin. So, we're doing pretty de pretty decent. Let's move these guys forward. And No, you stay right there. I hate these things that the... Oh, we have won the occupation of Osik. Perfect. We unseized another one of our provinces. Let's move our guys over here. We... Unseized Prague. Oh god, they're sieging more of our stuff. Let's keep these guys over here. No, 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 no. Don't go through there. Please, I beg of you. Move these guys here. Perfect. Let's try to get these guys out of Berlin. We don't want them to unseize Berlin. See, they put up such a high resistance. It's terrible. Alright. We are... What's our blockade score like? Defender blockades. Negative six. Wow, nice. Very nice. Yeah, we are blockading the main port. I think the one in Svinemunde. If that's how you spell it. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, we're blockading a lot. We're blockading the entire Baltic Sea. The Danes are, I guess, blockading more of their stuff over here in Stralsund. No, Stralsund is still this. So yeah, we have them mostly blockaded over here. Their war exhaustion should go up much faster now. 8%. Yeah, it was up to, I think, 6%, so 2% already up. We've lost the occupation of Trent. Okay. Um, Battle of Berlin, we won that. We might want to move... I don't want to move too many troops down there. I'm not too worried about the occupation of these lower states. I'm worried about the occupation of these states over here because our capital is so close. To... 14. Come on, drop that. Drop that crap over here. Alright, we're occupying more stuff. Alright, doing good. Doing good. 11th out. Nice. I have a number of soldiers dead. Yeah, I can see that I'm going on the offensive now, but very conservatively. And that, there's a reason for that. There is a reason for going conservative with, with uh, Prussia. I cannot emphasize how dangerous they are. We've took some severe losses from some battles that would otherwise not have been that bad. We are catching up on tech, though. I think they're tech 12. Yeah. We're up to tech 11, so we're going to be up in the same level of tech, probably even better in the future. We are getting heavily sieged over here, because they're done occupying our allies, which is very unfortunate. Being attacked in Brno. Yep, that's bad. That's really bad. Go over there, get to deal with it. Move. Our forces are under attack. Oh my goodness. It's happening. Them out. We are occupying a lot of their territory, so that is good. Right, we won those battles. Nice. Now stay here. Um. You get those 15,000 to go here. We're going to keep them around here. Um, yeah, they're sieging us hardcore down there. Let's move all these guys down here. Do 
Try to lure them into attacking us in the mountains. Oh god. They're attacking us again. And they're attacking us again over here. Go back them up. Playing defensively is OP, and when you're fighting someone like Prussia, it's worth it. It's really worth it. You never regret going uh, going defensive against that. Alright. Doing good, doing good. Excellent, perfect. Uh, get these guys out of here so they don't take so much attrition. That would probably won. Uh, we're almost up to our... Hmm. Infamy. Because we need 11. We need 11 infamy. We need to be able to take 11 infamy if we want to take any provinces whatsoever. They're mostly occupied now. They have a lot of occupations. They're up to 11%. We're at 4. Yeah, we're doing great. And they have much less brigades than we do now. We have 73. We have 99 brigades. And they're being blockaded. We are not being blockaded. So. We have an advantage. Battle of the Baltic Sea. Alright. Forces under attack over here. Go back them up. We're taking attrition over here. Fucking hell. Get out of there. Try to prevent their advance. They're going to attack us in Vienna. In the 1st of November. Alright. Right now. Go back them up. Wow, we're not even taking attrition over here. Perfect. Might want to just attack to get rid of that stupid stack. We have significant numerical advantage. We're winning most of the battles, I think. What's our war score from that? Wow, negative 30%. Battles is only 4. Occupation is most of the score. Hmm, we're not getting any... We're not getting any war score for blockades? It's very strange. Very, very strange. Plus two war score. Plus 1.4 war score. Get out of there, stop taking attrition. For the love of God, man. Stop it. Go over there, get rid of them. Right, occupied Staten. Go get rid of the tiny stack. You divide over here, go occupy Lignitz. They're doing pretty well. I'm surprised by how well we're doing. Over here, you come up, come with me. Go and Dean, we're gonna form a little line over here to try to prevent them from moving. To defend Munich. Go to Posen. Occupy more stuff. Bremen. White piece. Sure. Huh. Yeah, we're doing. Oh, Brazil is helping. Wow, they have 42 brigades. Not. Oh no, that's uh, Spain as well. Spain is helping. Derp. Belgium wants access. For what? War with the Netherlands, Spain, and Luxembourg. Is that one of those Netherlands war for their core? Dutch conquest of Belgium and Wallonia. Yeah, that's their... Uh, that's the stuff. Wow. Oh. Good luck with that, Belgium. They usually have... They usually have the UK as their ally, but not this time. Oh yeah, because they became a great power, I see. Yeah, sometimes becoming a great power as a small nation can be the bane of your existence because you're going to lose your great power allies if they already have another great power allies. Wow, we're doing pretty well. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not that surprised. We had more troops than they did. They're down to 47 brigades. They're getting destroyed. Alright, let's move those guys forward. Hmm, can we attack these two in the mountains? That should be over fairly quickly. I don't believe they'll be able to reinforce in time. I hope they won't. And it, yeah, they won't reinforce. We'll get rid of them. And move on to Bozen. Move on to Trent. No, you move on to Trent. You stay in Bozen. Move over to Salzburg. Occupation of Innsbruck. Yeah, they're gonna keep trying to occupy stuff. Stay in Munich. In Augsburg. Oldenburg, white piece.
Hmm. You know what? Let's just attack them. They're in the mountains, but they have one lignitz. Excellent. Perfect. Let's attack them. Oh my god, we're taking... Oh, 0.9% attrition. That's not a big deal. Ah, our infamy is dropping. I want to see that infamy. Prussia. No, no white piece. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You declare war to take all my stuff, all my sphere away. To, like, make me, what, admit hegemony. I'm not admitting hegemony to anything, you sack of shit. Get out of here. Wow, 9% attrition. Holy fucking crap. Get out of there. Alright. We're unoccupying all this stuff, pushing them back. of Trent is over. Excellent. We're unoccupying all this crap. Winning all these battles. Move forward. Yeah, all this stuff is being unoccupied. No white peace. No peace! Look at all this infantry. Holy crap. Oh, are we still mobilizing? We might be. Are we done? Oh, we are done mobilizing. I might have just left these troops there. So let's siege this stuff, chase them down. Yeah, we're on sieging the majority of our stuff. Stop them from finish that finishing that occupation. This Netherlands wants access. Sure, go for it, man. White peace. No, go fuck yourself. No peace. Never peace. Alright, let's move those guys up. Get out of Berlin, please. It is mine. I can do whatever I want with it. Our economy is a bit in the shitter. Probably because our tariffs are a bit high. Maybe. I'm thinking that's what it is. But we have a lot of money in the bank, so I'm not too worried about it. And even taking a few loans, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, let's move here, get rid of them. No, they want, they're going to want white piece. We're going to be able to add demand soon enough, because our infamy is dropping. And when our infamy gets low enough... Oh my god, you're still alive! Motherfucker, just die already. Occupy that. Keep cleaning up. Clean them up. Want to cripple Prussia forever. You probably won't, what? Really? They won? Oh, you you bastard. You're going to you're going to have it now. You're, you're now you're fucked. You don't know what hell you got yourself into when you won that battle, you son of a bitch. Add sexy to sphere. Ah, oh, I didn't think that would ever happen. Get back in there, maggot. There are only 3,000 Prussians. Keep sieging. Never stop sieging. little line over here. Over there. No, get out of here. Fuck off, Prussia. Jesus. How many brigades do they still have? 25. Wow. <laughs> ah, I almost feel bad for you, Prussia. Almost, being the key word. If I actually gave a fuck about you. You cock blaster. Up. Point defense system. Yeah, now we're ahead. Of, we're on the same level as Prussia, I think, in tech. But it doesn't really matter now because we're winning so much. Let's get fast and factory throughput. Or maybe. Let's get factory output. This is more important. 
much more important. Factory output is really good. Occupation of Bromberg. Wow, we're just sieging the fuck out of Russia over here. Pr Russia? God, I keep saying that. Prussia, not Russia. Prussia, not Russia. But then, atmosphere, excellent. White piece, are you fucking joking right now? Don't, don't do this to me. Our infamy is almost down to the point where we can actually add a war goal. Alright, we unseized all of our territory. Get back up. What are you doing down here? Get your ass into battle, motherfucker. <sighs> Keep sieging. Never stop sieging. White piece, let me guess. No. Vision of Posen. Never should have come here, Prussia. Oh wow, we're losing money hardcore too. Yeah, it's probably because we're mobilized. Mobilization impact is a big thing. It really fuck it really sucks. We don't need to be mobilized right now, probably. How many brigades do we have? That's one percent. Can I see how many mobilized brigades do I have? Can't see it. 75, but our limit is 99. Okay, so around like 24 brigades mobilized. That's why we're losing so much money. We have the workers have all gone to battle, so we're losing money. All those workers that could be working in, in, the, in the fields and in factories and stuff, you know, they're in battle, so that's why we're losing so much money. Yeah, they're really fucked now. There, there's no chance. There's no fucking chance that Prussia can win this war. There's just no way. Alright. Let's wait for enemy to drop like by a little bit more. And then we will be able to add our war goal to take Schlesen. And this province, trust me, it's really good. Can I see what kinds of factories they have here? Where's their stuff? I should show in the tooltip. They have six factories over here. Jesus! My god. Number mill. That's Prussian Saxon, though. Here. Explosives, artillery, paper, regular clothes, canned food, and ammunition. All these military goods. We need military goods factories, so yeah, thanks a lot, Prussia. Thanks a lot. Right, 13.95, that should allow us. We're gonna be barely under the under the limit. Uh, Schlesien, 11. But yeah, 11 plus 13, that'll be 24, and that'll work. Schlesien, 24.95. Yeah, we're barely, see, we're point, not, point zero 0.05 below the infamy limit. We're 97% war score, they should accept easily. easily. We should easily accept. No, not white piece. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you shitting on my tits right now, bro? And right on time too, because our reserve, our reserves are going down the shitter. We almost have no more money. Yes. Ha! Little spike over here in Austria. <laughs> Perfect. Demobilize. We should see our economy going back up after we demobilize. See there, there you go. Perfect. Start unfunding our units down like 40%. That's good. Take a t it'll take us some time for our economy to recover, but and we're also putting a lot of subsidies. Oh, that fucking wow! Regular clothes factory, 45 pounds. Holy god, Jesus, that's awful. Schlesien, Schlesien. We're gonna... You know what, let's close this factory for now. Let's open up the artillery factory. Let's close this. Paper mills, in my experience, usually do very badly. Ammunition. What else do we have here? We can optimize this stuff, right? Schlesien has a lot of... Coal. It's made up of coal, Jesus. It's made up of coal and you have no no factories that actually use coal. Well done. 
Oh my god, 89,000 craftsmen unemployed. Wow. 84,000, 81,000. Jesus Christ. It's terrifying. They're almost done upgrading. Yeah, our war score, our uh, industrial score jumped up. I think we were 8th, now we're 6th. Just from that one, one state. Oh god, and I forgot about these clergymen. We might as well change our national focus right now. Clergyman 0.8%. Yeah, I might want to change that. In Schlesien, anywhere we'll do. Central Hungary. Laborers, Bohemia. We don't have many craftsmen in Bohemia. So yeah, let's get some craftsmen up in Bohemia. Get some craftsmen up in Alfold. And uh, East Galicia has factories, don't they? East Galicia. I don't think we have factories there. We do have factories in, I think, Slovakia? Slovakia, yeah, they need more craftsmen as well. There, I should do it. Yeah, sorry about that, I forgot about that. Bohemia. Oh yeah, we're full. But that'll change. That'll change when we get enough money to upgrade our factories. Alright, doing good. Education up. Admin up a little bit. Stop taxing the rich so much. We're still gonna tax them, but not the most. Alright, we can start taxing the poor a little bit more because we're not a war. We're not... We don't want more people to be joining the army right now at the moment. Oh yes, start spending not a lot in naval tech. That would help. Almost sometimes I forget about that. Oh wow, now we have to the, the wonderful job of uh, return not only returning all of our troops home, but also uh, reorganizing our military, which sometimes can be quite boring because of the the armies end up all imbalanced and stuff, and all these units there have suboptimal configurations, and it's like blah, I have to remake them. We can build tons of more units. Let's build one more regiment. No, 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 please don't do that to me. I don't want all that. I don't want all infantry. Two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four. One Husser. I should do it. Eleven soldiers. Yeah, they're mad. They're Now they're mad. Wow, 38 war score. 38, in, 38 military score. Holy crap. They didn't build railroads there here too. Lazy bastards. I have sixty-seven thousand unemployed craftsmen. Holy mother of God, that's just bad. All right, you know, what, let's just open this factory for now. Oh, that's why they upgraded up to level four. Did you do this on purpose to screw with my economy, Prussia? I bet you did. You son of a bitch, because these factories are actually not that profitable. We're not even importing this stuff. Alright, it's not as egregious as it was before. It can be pretty good. I like to keep them subsidized for now. Since our tariffs are pretty high so we can make money, uh, we can lower them a little bit, actually. 20% will do it? Yeah, I get... Uh, 25. Yeah, keep it at that. Alright, this was exciting. Um, yeah, the time should be... Check the time... No, we're still good. I have about a few more minutes. Let's just organize some stuff over here. I think we lost... We lost our Cassus Belli with Egypt because we were at war. Yeah, we lost it. And we're not going to be able to do anything to really, uh... really shouldn't try to get... Um, to get it back right now. Because our infamy is so high. If we do that right now, we're going to... Triestian Nationalists. Alright. Five dudes. Well done, I guess. Oh wow, look at these troops. They're so disorganized. Three, two, four, eight guys can merge. One thousand. Let's merge these guys into one big unit. One, two, four, and seven, two, one. Merge. Can we merge these guys together without taking heavy attrition? No, we can't. We just kind of have to balance them out later on. 
Yeah, I know it's in the red, but we're gonna upgrade those factories, don't worry. Bohemia, we can upgrade that. No, we cannot. Oh, shit, can't upgrade that factory yet. Grievous insults in Punjab. No biggie. Schlesien has now much, le much less unemployment. We don't have enough money to upgrade anything, unfortunately. We're doing an unemployment here. We upgraded in Bohemia first. Until we get enough cash to do that. And then start building railroads in Schlesien because Prussia forgot to do them. I don't know why they did that. They, have, they should have plenty of money. I hope they run into some troubles. We could have protracted this war and uh, made Prussia gain a lot of war exhaustion, but uh, I was starting to lose money and, you know, kind of lazy. <laughs> I didn't want to start taking loans. Oh god, it begins. What's this? Ah, stop it. Jacobins. Oh god. Oh my god. Look at that big ass stack. We have a 50 stack in Vienna? Are you kidding me? Jesus. Wow, okay. Guess it's time to go to war then. Again. I fucking ask for it. Filthy Jacobins. Go straight to fucking Vienna. We don't want them to occupy our capital or else there's gonna, we're gonna flip governments and stuff. And we don't want that. No, sir. We don't want to flip governments. The Jacobins always they have these terrible government choices. It would be awful for us. Not to mention that we're going to lose tons of prestige. Organized factory is nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's get this. Keep going. Keep getting rid of those fucking Jacobins. Get rid of them. Kill them all. Alright, you get rid of them over here. Just merge together. Oh god, yeah, we're our our our, our troops that are being recruited are getting murdered. Ugh. Ten flashpoint tesh and whatever. Oh my god, the other attrition. Please have mercy on me. Let's just set you on auto rebel hunt, because I don't want to be dealing with all this crap. Just go on auto hunt rebels. You do that. And you do that. Alright. Get to it. And you do that. Too. You should clear them out. They're out of Vienna, so it's, they're not big of a threat anymore. It was just that big stack. Rebels sometimes can be a bit scary because they're like... A, 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 a stack of like uh, a hundred rebels will spawn up. But they're usually very weak and very disorganized. Wow, we're getting tension up really fast. I should try to get our relations up with people so they won't join us against us in crises like this. It's always good to have hype, to have good opinions of each of your neighbors have good opinions of you. Because then they'll be much less likely to declare war on you for no for the police crises. And we would not want the entirety of Europe to declare war on us over something stupid like... Or something stupid like West... Like Poland wanting to spawn out of our territories. It just... that would be awful. I don't want that at all. <laughs> that is not something that I would want. Uh, can we upgrade? We can probably upgrade our factory in Bohemia right now. Yep, we can do that. Recruiting more troops. Oh my god, get out of there. Please. Go over here. Go meet up in Vienna because you're being recruited. You go over there. All right, um, that should do it for this episode. It wasn't a, uh, we ended up with a, oh, sorry. We didn't end up with a bang like last time, but well, it, 
we, we sort of ended the midway of the episode with a bang by taking out Schlesien from Prussia, right under their noses. Uh, we have a nice province right now with lots of population. Are they the number one now? No, they're not number one in pop. But they have a lot of factories and a lot of coal a lot of, and some iron. See, they have a lot of iron. A lot of coal. That's Moravia. There's Schlesien. See, coal. Schlesien as well. Coal. They have a lot of coal, some iron. Really good province. State, I mean. <laughs> really good state. If Prussia attacks us again, we will definitely take territories territories from them. But in the future, if we declare war on them, I don't know if we're going to end up taking territory. We might as well just uh, end up cutting them down to size and keep punishing them for it. I don't know if they'll be able to form Germany. I've seen them form Germany in this crippled state, so that's not out of reach. Hmm, maybe if there... I, I don't know if there's a decision for us to... Form the South German Confederation. Oh, we have to be the, we have to be German, Germany. All right, maybe we can form the South German Federation. I would like to form the Austro 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 Hungary though. They're, they look really cool. They have this nice red color too. I like it. Oh wow, the liberals change that somehow. So yeah, this is gonna be it. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. This has been. Daedalus plays Austria. We're going to continue next time and see what happens. Maybe take some more colonial lands. Or, well, maybe we're going to be waiting for Infamy to drop down. Won't be too exciting for the next few episodes, I guess, but just keep up with me. Things will, get, things will keep getting exciting. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.